Top of the morning to you, YouTube. It's your buttery voiced host, El Heftismo. Boy, has it been a while since we've seen each other. Uh, <laughs> I apologize for not uploading a whole lot, but man, have I just been really lazy. So, with that being said, welcome back. Thanks for everybody for sticking around if you're still here. If not, hey, whatever, I'm putting this video out anyway. Today, I have a video that I can't believe it's taken me this long to do. Actually, I said about most videos that I want to do, but I'm actually doing this one, so that's a plus. I'm doing an unboxing video today. Uh, I'm going to set this up real quick. We're going to roll the intro and get right into this. Basically, what it was, I had recently gone on vacation to South Carolina to see family, and while down there, we uh, one of the places I like to go to uh, with my brothers is a like kind of secondhand store where they sell used DVDs and Blu-rays and books, but they have like guitars and pop funks and all sorts of other, other things. So it's actually kind of a pretty cool place. It's called Second in, and Charles in uh, Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, I reckon if you're in the area, I recommend going to check it out. There's a few other places that I can absolutely recommend to check out down in, in Greenville and Greer and right around there. But for now, we'll stick with it. So I walk in and my brother sees that they have these mystery boxes that kind of look like this. This is a mystery box. I have not opened it yet. It was about 30 bucks, and as you see, it has 50 DVDs or Blu-rays. You don't really know what you're getting. They also have these in the form of CDs there for anybody who still has a CD player or is, you know, into retro stuff. Uh, but the catch is these are all as is. No refinishing has been done to them, no resurfacing or anything like that. So, yeah, you know, it could go either way. Uh, <laughs> but again, 30 bucks for a box, it's, you know trade it in for store credit somewhere else or something like that if you're into that kind of thing but anyway i really want to get this looked into so on that let's roll the intro and get right into this sucker Whew, it's been a while since i saw that <laughs> anyway enough talking let's get into this here's the box Second and Charles, do do do. Ba, 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 ba. All right, Let's get this guy off of here. And see how long it takes me to do this. Oh, that's pretty easy. That was really loud. Sorry. All right, so. First off is, oh, this is so cool to look at. Okay, so I'm seeing there's some Blu-rays in there. Mostly DVDs, it's looking like. So first off, we have Pride. Never seen it. Own it. Probably check it out. And just to kind of see what we're in for as far as condition goes, this is what I'm talking about. So this one has been taped. So that might actually, no, it can't be brand new, but we'll take a look in here real quick. Me. Get a cutting utensil here. Would have been helpful to prep, but again, FTV, nice to meet you. Okay, so. Well, it's not that bad. A little dusty. Couple of scratches, dings, nothing too bad. Okay. Now, I'm not going to st stop and check every single uh, uh, DVD or Blu-ray condition just for the sake of time. This might even be a two-part video. I don't know. We're going to see how this goes. Okay, so Pride. We have Clint Eastwood's Trouble. What is it? Trouble with the Curve. Okay. Never heard of it. Own it now. The Tracy Fragments. Ooh, with Ellen Page. Don't know. Never seen it. I'll watch it. Talking to Heaven. Sugar! Ba -doo 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 -doo. That's actually, that might be new. That's sealed. Okay. That's interesting. The Rainmaker. Cover, wow, severe cover damage. That's okay. But the Rainmaker. And it's the collector's edition. And as you can see, I'm a collector. So, that tracks. Blu-ray time. 
the Phenom. Ethan Hawk, Paul Giamatti, and some guy named Johnny Simmons. Okay. Well, this is getting interesting. What else we got here? We have Peacock. Well, these movies I'd never even heard of. Interesting. Personal effects, Michelle Pfeiffer. All right, so be worth a watch. Let's see. We got, ooh, some anime. Okay, that's interesting. So we have Love and War Under the Cherry Blossoms. Don't know, but okay. Anime, always cool, I think. I'm not a big anime guy, but I, oh boy, oh wow, okay. This is cool. His and her circumstances, but we've got, so, meh. Okay, so this is section two. This is section three. Double section three and section four. So if I can find one in there somewhere, of course it couldn't. There had to be two threes. There couldn't be a one in there to make a complete collection. Well, that's going to drive me nuts. But that's that's super cool. That's almost a full doodle right there. Oh, uh, uh, let's see. We have peaceful warrior. No clue. I have, uh, so far, honestly, I haven't really heard of any of these movies. I've heard of Pride, but I don't know the other ones. Patrick. Evil Awakens. Horror? Okay, cool. I'm going to go through and I'm going to sort these into... Uh, by uh, genre at some point. Life, okay. Jake Gyllenhaal, Ryan Reynolds. Okay, I'm going to give it a watch. Well, I'm going to watch all these. That's, that's going to be fun. The Life Before Her Eyes, I don't know. We got uh, What to Do in Case of Fire. Is that like a double disc? Or, that's like a special dish or something. I don't know. It's a very heavy, heavy feeling, thick case. I like those. So that usually means there's hidden surprises in it, like a double disc or something. Uh, next up we have Kevin Bacon and The Woodsman. Never heard of it. Do, 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 do. Moving on. Walking Across Egypt. Parents Guide for Family Discussion. What is this? Boy, that is weird. Feature Films for Families. Oh, great. That's going to be fun. So, next up we have Warning Shot. Okay. Well, interesting looking one. We've got uh, 007 Skyfall. That was my terrible Sean Connery impression. Ooh, now here we go. The Machinist with Christian Bale. Fucking great movie. That's cool. Cool beans. All right. Very happy with. Edited. Weird. Okay. Oh, it's probably that. I got it, got it, got it. Okay, so up next we have Madison. This kid's all like, Hooray! I haven't heard of this movie either. Bruce Turn. That's Mary McCormick. I don't know. Uh, Chris O'Donnell and Drew Barrymore in Mad Love. We've got uh, Al Pacino in The Recruit. I might not have to do a two-parter on this. Know, we'll see. The Longest Day. That's pretty much any work day for me. The Longest Day. Oh, that's... All right. I think I know. I think T-Bone might like that one an awful lot. Put that to the side. It's a war, war one. Oh, let's see. What do we got here? Oh, ho, ho. yes. It's my absolute favorite. Gossip Girl. <laughs> It's a full season, though, so what are you going to do? Oh, God. That just that does not look like an enjoyable... Uh, that does not look like an enjoyable uh, show. Moving on. Another Blu-ray. We have... Ooh, Perfect Stranger. Holly Berry. Some guy named Bruce Willis. I don't know. Maybe he'll have a neat career. Uh, do, 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 do. This is kind of fun. Ah, of course. Huh? So, doubles. The Phenom. We have 
picture day. Looks like an indie kind of film or something like that. Okay, I'll give it a watch. We have red lights with a free digital copy that comes with it. How about that? We've got Kate Winslet and Ralph Fiennes in The Reader. Apparently won an Academy Award. That explains why I've never heard of it. Most of the awards my mine wins are Chainsaw Awards or something. Ooh, Roman Polanski film, The Tenant. We have... There's still some money. We have On the Edge. Okay. We have... Do, do, do. Virtuality. Reality is only the beginning. Sweet. We've got... Robin Hood. Not the good one, though. The Kevin Costner one. That'd be Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. I'd love to see that in here, but I don't know. Uh, another Blu-ray, we have Adrift. Uh, the title of this movie is a lie already, so I don't like it. New York, I love you. I'm not going to stop and read how many people are in that. There are a bunch of names on the cover. Well, let's see. We have... Uh, Will Smith, a.k.a. The Smacker in The Pursuit of Happiness. I gave him that nickname. Nobody calls him that. Ooh, a lenticular cover. Ooh, so lenticular covers are like those magic motion ones. It's like, ah, look at that. I'm not actually magic. I'm literally just turning it. Uh, it's called Now You See Me Too. Oh, that's got a bunch of big names in it. Okay. All right. Uh, Under Still Waters. I see that one? Sounds familiar. Under Still Waters. The Theory of Everything. Okay, that sounds like that could be a very long movie. We've got... Let's see. We have... Oh, Memoirs of a Geisha. Maybe that's good. I don't know. I'm, thumb I'm thumbing my nose at a lot of these, but they're actually probably pretty good if I gave them a watch. Oh, <laughs> fucking sweet. The second season of Gossip Girl, just for when I can't get enough Gossip Girl action. Uh, Gossip Girl season four. Uh, ooh! Hell yeah! Now we're talking first season of Entourage. Still sealed. Bomb. Solid score right there. Very happy with that one. And a couple of these that I'm really... I'm like, okay. We have... Two copies of Talk To Me. That's twice the Cheetle. None of the bullshit. Thou Shalt Laugh. Uh, so that looks to be like... A Christian... Family... Cop, six hours of comedy right now. Okay, uh, moving on. We have... Please, no, no. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Boy, this is gonna make your pudding go all in chocolate. It's the Cosby Show with the first season. Is this just gonna end up me being, being me doing terrible impressions at this point? But I did like the show when I was a kid. Uh, then, hey, who knew about that one, huh? Well, apparently a lot of people. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna call that a score. I love first seasons. Um, especially when it shows that I am familiar with or stuff like that, just because, like, you'll come across, typically in the wild, like, season, like, two or three or something like that. But it's always good to find, like, the first season to start off on the right foot there. So that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, we'll go with this one, too. Now, this is... Okay, so... Lost, season two. Never watched it when it was on TV. Um, and I heard it was not the ending was not great, so... But that's cool, I have season two there, and like I'm saying, you, you go and you, you typically will find the weird seasons and not the first one. And let's see, moving on, we have... Oh, son of a... Son of a bitch. Season three of Lost. Come on, season one. This is gonna be like that anime one where I'm, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna find the first season. 
Oh, Walt Disney presents Miracle, starring Kurt Russell. <sighs> okay. Getting down there now. So we have George Clooney in Up in the Air. Wow, this one I remember seeing tons of when I worked at the video store back in the day. Unfaithful. I had to put an awful lot of those away. Uh, we've got Tom Cruise and Valkyrie. We have The Prisoner. We've got... I think this one was like PG-13. I remember this one too. It was like a PG-13 movie. Like Swim Fan. I think that was PG-13. I remember that was a big like teenage one that a lot of kids would rent. Yeah, PG-13, yeah. Oh, oh. Save the Last Dance 2. Oh, boy, howdy. Uh, Safe Haven looks like some sort of rom-com thing that I'll probably cry at. Maybe. Who knows? I like to cry, so maybe. Uh, we have the uh, Snoop Dogg in the... It's not the, it's the East Siders. Okay. Tom Hanks. I love Tom Hanks. Never heard of this movie, never seen it, but I'm going to watch it because I absolutely love Tom Hanks. Terminal. Now for the final three. Oh, fucking cool. Cool. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end on, on my favorite one that I, that I just pulled up. So this one's pretty cool too. So Moby Dick. That's awesome. Is there in there? Uh, Moby Dick, that's pretty cool. We have My Sister's Keeper. And this one I'm so excited for. I'm so excited for. Uh, this was one of the, uh, probably a while, well, quite a while ago, Tui and I, my brother, would do sad Sundays, sad movie Sundays, where, like, on Sundays we would just watch a, a one or, or two sad movies that were really good. And uh, <laughs> this was on there. The Notebook. I really, really like this movie. So I am really freaking excited to have this. This one I'm going to check the condition on. Oh, that's not bad at all. These, if these are all like this. Again, they're not, it's not bad at all. A little wipe off. Seen it, but not really a whole lot of scratches or anything. Hey, look at that. That's meta, huh? So that's that. That is 50. There weren't as many Blu-rays, but I think there was a pretty good spread on stuff. Uh, not as much horror as I would have liked, but it looks like there's a couple of them in there, so I'll take that. I love it. That's great. And I, I don't know where they, I'm, they're honestly probably just going to all go right back in that box because I am running out of real estate, which is a good thing. Kind of. That depends. Anyway, we're going to call the video on that. Like I said, I got this from Second and Charles down in Greenville, South Carolina. If you're ever in, around there, I absolutely recommend going to check them out. But two things to keep in mind. A, they won't let you film there. Pfft, one strike. And two, they won't give you a bag. So pfft, on that. Uh, so just bring your own bag if you go. And be prepared not to be able to take any video in there. Because I would have liked to have done that. But there we go. Anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I know it's been a while. Uh, you know, I'm going to try to start uploading a little bit more regularly. You can, if you're interested, catch me every Friday, uh, 3 p.m. Uh, or yeah, 3 p.m. on Tom and Amy Paranormal Mysteries. I'll include a link in the description down below. At 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, we do a paranormal podcast, talk about all sorts of fun things, and. Um, but it's not for little ears, so it's not a family-friendly thing. But it is an awful lot of fun. Maybe you'll learn something. Maybe we'll learn something. Go check that out. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and putting up with this probably a little bit longer video than I had wanted. But whatever. Guys, go out there. Do good things because no one else is going to. If everybody did one good thing for somebody else each day, this world wouldn't be such a bad place. I love you guys. Thank you again for watching. And we'll catch you next time on Hef TV.